Hey guys, welcome back to Full Send Entertainment. Today we're going to be working on the CR250 some more, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date with the build. Today, Brennan got some new parts in the mail, so we'll show you what we got. So we got some fresh swing arm bearings for the old CR2 fatty along with a fresh chain slider. But before we go tear into this boy into the garage, it's cold here in Michigan, it's freezing out. So we gotta go hit the store, get some fire lid. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, so we're back from the store and uh, we gotta move this CR2 fatty out here in the open so uh, we can work on it. And we also got this fire going a little bit, but uh, we have to get that uh, better for sure. So it's cold out here. Ready to move this thing? Let's get on, bro. Bet. I'm holding 250 cc's of glory right now. Nice, dude. Actually, because I think it poured out. Nah, you don't get into the glory stage just for like 500 cc's of two-stroke glory. You need a CR500. I know. AF swap? Yeah. I was actually looking at them today, like videos. Oh, were you? Yeah. Alright, so we've got this bike over here. It's time to get this uh, fire going. Just for good measure. All right, let's get on pressing these bearings out, right? Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. So we gotta start by uh, taking off these seals. Pull those boys out. Throw them right in the trash. Can't see this one. There we go. Boom. Now that he's got those seals out, we can start on pressing the bearings out. We're using the method where you use two sockets. We're gonna get this all set up. There that goes. You know, who wants to bolt their uh, vice down when you can just leave it unbolted and it makes everything way more complicated? Oh, it makes it easier. You got mobility. Oh, yeah, mobility. Then the whole thing falls over. <laughs> but, oh, uh, yeah, we'll make it work. Yep. Yeah, maybe bolting this vice down would have been a great idea. So the way we have this set up, we're using a smaller socket to push the race of this bearing out. And a bigger one to uh, hold the, uh, to be pressing on the outside of the swing arm so these bearings can pop out. God bless it. You know what would be awesome, Hunter? What's that? If this vice was mounted down. But of course it's not, because why would it be? Yeah. Who mounts a vice down? Definitely not us. I mean, mine at home is bolted to the workbench. Look at you. <laughs> I think this is catching it, because it's not going anymore. All right, I guess back it off and check it. Might well, I need even, a bigger yeah, one. even bigger socket. No. <laughs> well, they're out. <laughs> and, uh, bedlining, terrible idea. This bike is going to... God, the bikes look so good, like all the work we put into I it. Know. But the bed line on the frame is going to look god awful. Maybe it's just looking to get in this powder coated. Well, if you don't have it powder coated this year, you can always do it next year because, like, that is more money. More money. But it'll look good, though. It will look, definitely look way better, and that's the proper way to do it. 
Yeah. So uh, if you guys were thinking about bedlining your shit, don't do it. Not want. Well, yeah. Don't do this shit. It was Just, a stupid idea. <sighs> Thud would work too. God bless it. If it was professionally done, it'd probably stick better. But when you pay that type of money, you're better off just going and get it powder coated. So if we don't have it powder coated this year, we're definitely gonna have to next year. Yeah, and uh, I guess we either should have spent them like we should from the get go. We should have spent the money to get this just powder coated. Yeah, it just really starts to add up. Like we said, this was just supposed to be a simple build, like just basically cleaning it and putting on the exhaust and. We're down to changing out bearings because they were bad. We have it all the way down to the frame. Yeah. We didn't think this was how it was going to go at all. But, you know, it's fun. It does cost a lot of money. Yeah. This, we, I mean, on our update video, we said that this wasn't our going to be the winter project. It turned into the winter project just because you tear it apart, you look at everything, you're like, well, I should buy this, but I should buy that. We should change this, we should change that. I so. I think we might still do the YZ, but it'll be a very basic build this year. Just basically getting it running. And uh, next year, I'm going to look into powder coating the frame. And I'm just going to leave the swing arm because I want it to look as close to, like, factory as it can. Yeah. We don't have that much more to do for this CR. No, I mean, it's mostly going to be Cerakoting. Yeah, we got some Cerakoting to, to get done. But besides that, I mean, miscellaneous parts here and there. But nothing major, so... We'll be able to work on that YZ pretty soon. Yeah, hopefully. Just more money. <laughs> All right, we'll pick you back up when we're putting in the bearings. Tiny bit more. How's it looking? We need like a hair bar. I mean, really, it doesn't have to be like completely perfect in the middle. Yeah, this but it should at really least close. be flush with this. We've got both the bearings in the swing arm now, and all we have left to do is pack these bearings and then put in the extra uh, shims and spacers and whatnot, along with the dust seals. But pack of bearings. And with what the... not do? Oh, did and I say it? <laughs> yeah. First time. First time I said this, I'm gonna try not to say that. We've uh, we've noticed that I like to use and whatnot as a phrase, I guess. Yeah, I want to make a like a montage edit of all the times you said and whatnot. Give me a lot, dude. You need way more grease than that. Well, yeah. Like pack it completely full. Working on it, bud. You know the messed up part about this? What's that? I have a bearing packer from that. Um, that's way too easy. Cabinet. <laughs> that's way too easy. Yeah. Stop moving it so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get some good shots here. My bad. Oh, look at that. Dude, that's strawberry jelly. No, it doesn't feel like that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Thank you. 
kind of chilly out here in the garage so we're gonna wrap this up make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe comment i mean we're trying to gain traction here help us out boys <laughs>